Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omenos and today I will do the top 10 Beastie Boys songs. I'm a big fan of the Beastie Boys. Um, I actually didn't know I haven't done the Beastie Boys yet. I, I'm actually surprised I haven't before. But I'm gonna do it today. Uh, yeah, like I said, huge fan. Uh, I just loved the way how they started onto the scene. Of course, a fantastic debut album. Uh, following, uh, you know, that following up a pretty much a flawless masterpiece. Uh, their upcoming or their following albums were a bit more on the on the old school sound. They were going back to their kind of punk roots. You know, since they started out as a punk band, but they became a rap group. Uh, then experimenting with um, with electronic sounds on their Hey Nasty album, and then their last couple of albums were mi or Six Bars or something was mixed, I believe. But then they made a great comeback with uh, Hot Sauce Committee, which is their last record today. So, uh, Rip the Beastie Boys, since I believe one of the members has passed away in recent memory. So, uh, God bless his soul. I always loved the Beastie Boys, so there we go. So um, yeah, today I'm doing the top 10 of them. Uh, what is going to be on the list? Yeah, I've watched it already. Uh, spoiler alert, Sabotage number one. Um, I forgot number two. I forgot the number two spot. Sure shot or something or I don't know. Um, I want some protection neck, but that's a Wu Tang song. Um, I love body moving, but that's not going to be on the list. I believe remix by Fatboy Slim, so that's pretty cool. Do with that what you will. Uh, of course, you got a five free ride to party, which the Beastie Boys hate because everyone mis misinterpreted, misinterpreted that song because it's meant as a critique to party song, but everybody just kind of parties to it, so it's kind of a hypo hypocritical song. It's, it's kind of an ironic song in that sense. Uh, what else is going to be on the list? Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, I haven't listened to them in a while. Uh, I believe Brass Monkey is pretty catchy. The whole debut is just classic. I mean, come on now. Can't really think of anything at the moment, but uh, stuff like that. It's gonna be awesome, of course. Uh, no sleep till Brooklyn because that, was a, that is a recommendation from, uh, from Next. Suggested. They got to fight for their right to party. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Beastie Boys songs. Uh, Gratitude, I love this song. Like this is their um, tribute to Pink Floyd on uh, Live at Pompeii. I love this shit. For this list, we've chosen our Like how can you not love that? On a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Pass the mic. Actually, Watch Mojo kind of disses the song because uh, it has some like uh, cheesy lyrics as in, you know, they all say their name, they, they all kind of plug themselves. But I love the beat of this song, I love the flow, I love the raps, I just love this entire song, just listen to it. successful songs. In the old school way. Um, I forgot the title of the song, but it is from Lies to Hill, so you probably know it. Number 10, Paul Revere. I love the beat on this song. Like, they sample so many great things on their debut album. I believe they have some Led Zeppelin in there, some Black Sabbath. Uh, some other acts which I cannot name at the moment, but there are a lot of great acts in there, the believe me. Tale of the Beastie Boys first meeting. This track is creative storytelling at its best. <laughs> After Run DMC's Joseph Simmons got a name drop in the album, they're starting to get ill. The tune grew to become what it is today. Partially. A rambling epic of friendship, a horse named Paul Revere, and warm beer. And what a story it is. Kinda reminds me of, um, of Fry. How's he called again? Uh, I, I forgot his last name, but Fry, you know, Fry of, of uh, Futurama. He also likes warm beer. Number nine, Brass Monkey. Oh, uh, more from Lifestyle. 
Yeah, this is a cheeky song, man. Tongue in cheek. Awesome. Uh, I fucking shot that. <laughs> you got it all the time. Based on the name of a cocktail, this song hmm. is the perfect party anthem about not. Yeah, it kind of sounds party like party a cocktail, honestly. Same time doing it. Sampling a wild sugar trap. Brass Monkey also. Yeah, it kind of it does sound funky though. 808 I believe four lives of the old tracks on there. These two. No sleep till Brooklyn and uh, Five for a Ride. I believe that was a center. Oh, I love this song. I was called again. I was called again. I love this song, but I forgot the title. I literally do. Uh, shit, I forgot the title. Uh, hey, ladies, I think. That's what they're, that's what they're saying in the song. So, I, I love the production on this track. It's just flawless. Number eight. Hey, ladies. Yeah, there we go. The flow of this song is just perfect, it really is. Beat and sampling. This song produces a memorable breakdown that's reminiscent of a 70s disco beat. Get funky. The track's lyrics may be largely nonsensical. But it still holds the honor of being the first single to reach the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100 Rap Singles and Modern Rock Tracks chart. Video is all over the place. Like I believe Beastie Boys invented twerking with the song, and they invented like um, hoes to you know pretend silicones and shit like that. They predicted that shit. The hip hop number was a you know, fake ass and shit like that. Video inspired by Saturday Night Fever and black exploitation movies. Funky. Number seven? No, no, yeah, seven. Number seven, Shake Your Rock. There's a production on this whole Paul's Boutique album, it's just flawless, it really is. Also the name, Paul's Boutique. It's, it sounds so simple, yet so perfect. And, it's beat. and that's exactly what it is. That's a raunchy song right there. Led Zeppelin and Diana Ross in the Supremes, among a slew of others. Number no. From the Dust Brothers, the boys also oh, the Kitty, cute. Kitty on the. Uh, how do you say that? Fred Flintstone and the Brady Bunch. On the spin tail. That's kind of how I say it. Kitty on the record. Uh, sure shot? No. Number six. Sure oh, shot. yeah, it was. Not many rap songs can rely on a flute to tie it together, but then again, the Beastie Boys aren't like many other rap groups out there. The flute may give Sure Shot its funk and help bring its listeners in. But it's the guys yelling at the chorus that really stays in our heads. Special thanks goes to their longtime collaborator DJ Hurricane. He came up with that chorus while freestyling over the phone. I'm sure, show. Number five. No sleep to Brooklyn. Number five. 
No sleep till Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Like, you just gotta love this song. Like, it's rock and roll, it's hard rock. And Carrie motherfucking King is in this song right there. He, he does the guitar solo. The Beastie Boys put their own spin on their hometown jam by choosing to rant about... And this is also the only Slayer-ish song my mom can stand because she actually liked this. Uh, she actually liked the Beastie Boys, but she, does, she... You know, of course she isn't a Slayer fan. And their hectic return to New York. <laughs> Meanwhile, a sample of ACDC's TNT gets the track a rock and roll edge as they Net see the No! Slay! To Brooklyn! No! Slay! To Brooklyn! Cementing its rap rock sound are the guitar parts played by Slayer's Carrie King. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a rookie right there, and this is Carrie King. Still kind of rookie though. <laughs> oh, they, they, they only uh, play the worst part. <laughs> that, that's one way to put Kerry King in this place though. Um, number four, what is this though? What is this? Uh, Intergalactic. Yeah. Number four, Intergalactic. Speaking of Fry, this, is, uh, this was also, I believe, on Futurama, this song. Not, not per se um, in the show itself, but as a preview or something in the commercials. With its techno heavy beat and multiple samples, this alternative hip hop track was way different from anything else on the radio in the late 90s. More songs of Hey Nessie should be on there though, I think. Like what can you say about this song, it's just fantastic honestly. Same thing as this one, uh, got a fight for your rights. Pretty much the most famous Beast Boys song. You got a fight for your right to party. Break the skull, man, you don't want to go. The Beastie Boys are known for wanting to have a good time. Like if this isn't a good Christmas present for, for y'all, then you can fuck off. It has a lot to do with it. You got a fight for your right to party. Even though it was written in jest. Fight for your right has become a quintessential party. Spanish fly. That hypocrite smokes two packs a day. One of their best known singles. The track is your mom took away your best for no man. Oh, well, I, I love this song too. Uh, I'll call it again. I'm really bad with titles though, but I love all of their songs. Let's call it there, uh, make some noise, there we go. That was number two again. I got a lot of production on this song too, it's just great. It sounds like fuck everyone, <laughs> it just sounds like that. Uh, how is this one called again? I love the production on it again. Like all, all of the Beastie Boys songs just sound perfectly produced for what they're we're trying to do here. How's it called again? Um, oh, this is what this is the only one I can't uh, name, honestly. Number two. So what you want? So what you want? Just because the Beastie Boys didn't start. Like that whole the background is so trippy. Doesn't mean you should mess with them. Oh, this song sounds so, so Zeppelin inspired. It really the does. Trio brings their trademark rap swagger and posture attitude to the forefront. What you want? What you want? But I, but I love their kind of 90s, their early 90s stuff because you know their 80s stuff is like th those are the critical darlings of their career. Their you know Hey Nasty is like another critical darling. It's you know. 
uh, it, it's, it's kind of like something with Radiohead, you know, with the, the early stuff acclaimed, you know, bands, okay, okay computer, Hey Nasty is kind of like the kid A of their discography. Uh, what is in between them? What is that stuff? I guess more of the bands, I suppose. And, and I guess Lines of the Ills than, um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I've, yeah, comparing Radiohead with the Beastie Boys, I guess. Uh, because if you kind of look at it, the Beastie Boys are kind of, you know, Radiohead of the rap community, if you look at it like that, really. Um, but I really love their 90s stuff though, their, um, how's it called again? Ill Communication and that other one, I, I, I forgot the other title. I believe uh, it, it's this record. Uh, check your head. Yeah, check your head and ill communication. I love those songs, or I love those albums because uh, because basically they um, they go back to their punk roots, but they also throw some like um, some alternative and progressive sounds in there. I just really love that era of the Beastie Boys because they're actually playing their own instruments and they they sound so heavy and still you know have that rap mentality to them they're still a rap group but they also play instruments so it's just perfect in a way Just who they are, and that they're not going anywhere. And it's all we want and more. Honorable mentions. Oh, uh, yeah, make some noise. Should be on the list, though, in my opinion. Make some noise everywhere. Just throwing someone out of the window. I, I believe the, the toughest member of the band, of the group. But I'm not exactly sure they're called, so you know, I've still yet to listen more to the Beastie Boys because of, I think I've only listened to the debut album, but it was great, of course. Uh, Girls by Lion Still, or From Lion Still. Yeah, not another cheeky song. Like, this whole record is just cheeky as fuck. You get it together, ill communication. Oh, this sounds really smooth, kind of jazzy in a way. Uh, root down, ill communication. Root down. I just love this kind of like um, dark, rootsy kind of rock and roll flavored rap. Uh, this rap rock kind of style that they have here. I just love it, man. Yeah, there's one body moving from Hello Nasty. One of my personal favorites, probably. Well, it's, it's mostly nostalgic, though, because I grew up with the song. Sabotage. Like, Sabotage is just the most kick ass Beastie Boys song ever. I mean, come on now. Like I've praised this song from day on, from day one, and I will continue to do so. So there, there we go. Just the music video is just one of the best. The song is amazing. It's just like uh, kicking the door, fourth floor. You know, it's just just a fuck all kind of song. It's just perfect. It really is. Exactly. Their rhymes with a heavy rock and roll guitar beat. Sabotage helped solidify their place. In it just gives it a punch, honestly. The only thing more dope than the actual song is it's Spike Jones directing this video. Which has the band's members played? They're just throwing a doll off the roof and they're like, no. It's just the best. I mean, it is also pretty crazy though that this song, I believe, one and a half decade later won, won a Grammy or something for like best music video. Like, yeah, good job Grammys. Good job noticing this. Thank you. With our list, which Beastie Boys song is your favorite? 
almost two decades too late, but better, better late than ever, I suppose. Just yeah, Beastie Boys. I mean, come on, up. you gotta love it. You really do. Um, we can check out some comments. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much flawless. This in a way, really. As a former DJ, I can honestly say Five Free Ride definitely should have been number one. Not really, but uh, you know, it has to be on the list though, but not number one. I swear to God, um, I'm the only person to like Slow and Low. Rest in peace, MCA, yeah, that's the one. I think we all knew Sabotage was going to be number one. Normally, I don't like rap, but there are cases in which I can make an exception. Yeah, so basically me. Simply because they're, they are white. No, the color of their skin has nothing to do with it. I like the Beastie Boys because of their ability to mix rock with hip hop. I bet he doesn't like Eminem. Well, I certainly don't like him. He's too pretentious for my taste. Oh, fuck off. Well, to be honest, I like Eminem a lot. I'm just tired of the race, uh, race card being thrown around. Uh, WTF, when did people go all eunuch on each other? Well, basically since day one. Have you heard of the slave war? Oh, that was a tasteless comment, but whatever. <laughs> Rest in peace, Adam MCA. Youch, forever in our hearts. Tot een Weezers song. Not Weezer, but Weezers. Go to the website, they only have two, three or four good songs. Tot een Rage Against the Machine songs. Uh, now do Tot een Beatles songs. They already did, but uh, on their side. That's literally impossible to do. Um, system of down. You do realize that the body moving you play was the Fat Boy Slim remix. Apparently they didn't. Am I the only one who loves remote control? Not enough uh, of Pulse Boutique on my but Yeah, it should definitely be more Pulse Boutique though. I agree times 5000. Yeah, for sure. Pulse Boutique is just the best. No, uh, ch ch check it out, intergala intergalactic. Um, I honestly think the past the mic should be on there. Like that is a great song, I think. But whatever. Sabotage is by far one of my favorite music videos. Yeah, it's one of the best for sure. Good list. I would have also mentioned to to check it out. Tot and killer songs. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that uh, that you were stuttering, little bitch. But there we go. I like the sound of science. Sa sounds of science. It's probably a spoof on. Um, a spoof on sound of silence, but uh, whatever. I thank you for watching this video. Uh, here you go with your Christmas present, Beastie Boys. So there we go. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you're gonna do with, uh, on Christmas, or what do you like about Beastie Boys? Favorite albums, favorite songs. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.